Hi there. I'm recording this message on Friday, the 3rd of April. I trust each of you is keeping well and is adjusting to the new normal of working from home, avoiding non-essential travel, physical distancing, and of course, conscientious hand washing. I recognize that for many of you, this time is more than just stressful inconvenience. For a number of you, it means being separated from loved ones and families. For some of you too, it may have meant real upheaval in your lives. These are difficult times, but please know that each of you are in my daily prayers and are prayed for each day by the faculty here at the Theological School at Trinity. While we are all working from home, the staff here are at the Theological School continue to be quite busy with online teaching, with regular meetings by Zoom, and with their research and scholarship. As you know, we meet each day for morning prayer by Zoom, to which all of you are invited. Please see our website for more information on how to log on to daily morning prayer. The staff also continue to meet for our weekly faculty meetings, again by video conference. And we have started to have informal afternoon tea time by Zoom as a way to stay connected and to overcome the physical and social distance under which we are all living at the moment. This is a stressful time for all of us as we navigate how to keep in community without communing with each other. God has created us to be social and relational beings. As a result, these past weeks and the weeks to come are and will be unnatural and difficult for us. So I would encourage you to find ways to plug into virtual communities across Melbourne and around the world. I would also encourage you to monitor your mental health. No one is immune from stress, anxiety, worry, and bouts of depression, especially during this time. As such, I would recommend that you check out Sanctuary Health Ministries, a Christian nonprofit organization based in Canada that prepares the church to support mental wellness. There are a number of resources that can be found on their webpage, including podcasts, and other online mental health materials that they are making free of charge during the coronavirus outbreak. Their web address is www.sanctuaryhealth.org. Do check it out. Finally, I think it is important to recognize that we are about to go into Holy Week and mark Jesus' journey into Jerusalem and his suffering and death. I heard someone recently say that this Lent has been the lentiest Lent they've ever Lented. And I think we all can relate. So my prayer for each of us is that as we journey through Holy Week, may we remember that we are not alone, that our Lord suffers along with us. St. Paul wrote his letter to the Philippians during a time of trial, anxiety, and suffering that both he and his readers were experiencing. And in the midst of this, St. Paul penned these words of encouragement to the Philippians, words that I leave with you today. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. My friends, this is my prayer for each of us during this time of coronavirus, especially as we begin our journey through Holy Week and to the cross of Jesus. God bless all of you, and I'll speak with you soon.